This is really astonishing. Antarctica ice sheets are leaking radioactive chlorine from nuclear weapons tests, Sputnik News reports. U.S. nuclear weapons tests carried out in the Pacific Ocean during the 1950s and the 60s resulted in the release of high concentrations of radioactive isotopes and they've been traveling around the globe. Some gases eventually deposited on Antarctica's ice. So this has gone everywhere. Vast ice sheets of Antarctica are still discharging radioactive chlorine in the wake of nuclear weapons tests carried out back in the 1950s. This is what a new study published in the Journal of Geophysical Research Atmospheres shows. Melanie Baroni, geoscientist at European Center for Research and Testing in Geosciences and the Environment in Eau en Provence, France, in her, and her colleagues examined chlorine emissions in different parts of Antarctica, in areas where annual snowfall is high versus areas where snowfall is low. Scientists commonly use radioactive isotopes to determine the edges of ice by drilling into ice sheets as part of research into the mysteries of Earth's past climate. Some chlorine-36 forms naturally, but it can also be produced during nuclear explosions when neutrons react with chlorine in seawater. The expert discovered that high levels of chlorine-36 are still pre present near the surface of the ice around the location with little snowfall, the Russian Vostok Research sta uh, Station. Since naturally produced chlorine-36 is stored permanently in layers of Antarctica snow, the results show the site is still, still has man-made chlorine produced by bomb tests in the 1950s and the, late, and, uh, and the 1960s. The U.S. conducted nuclear testing in the Pacific Proving grounds between 1946 and 1962, causing reactions that generated high concentrations of isotopes like chlorine-36. These reaches reached the uh, stratosphere and traveled around the globe, and some of the gas reached Antarctica, and it was deposited on Antarctica's ice sheet and has remained there ever since. While other isotopes produced by nuclear bomb testing mostly returned to pre-bomb levels in recent years, scientists expected chlorine-36 to have done so as well. The consistently higher levels at the Vostok Snow Pact suggest it is still releasing radioactive chlorine from the 1950s and 1960s marine nuclear bomb tests. This has been explained by the mobility of chlorine-36 in its gaseous form at low snow accumulation sites located on the high Antarctic plateau such as Vostok. Experts added the released amount is too small to have an effect on the environment. Scientists are currently planning to drill for a 1.5 million year old ice core in the, in the Antarctic and understanding how Vostok released man-made chlorine-36 could help us uh, could, uh, could help use the isotope to gain and glean data from the ancient ice core, Baroni said. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.